So the first thing I'd like to do is give you a compilation of all the RV renovations and new decorations and sometimes gutting of the different RVs we've had over the years. We've had five RVs since about 2016 to 2024. And then I'm going to give you a tour of this RV right here. She is by far our favorite. And I think you'll really enjoy that tour and all the different tips and tricks that we have. So let's get to it. I am Jen Lee and you are with me on my Gentastic journey. To start off with, I'd like to give you just a little history of how and when we got started. So we started this journey of RV travel in 2016 and bought our very first Class A RV. It was a diesel pusher and it was a Fleetwood Discovery and I'll show you pictures of the renovations. We didn't do a lot there because we had five kids at home, but we'll show you that one. Then we decided we needed something smaller and newer and went with a Thor Axis Class A and from there we moved on to a Prevo bus and then sold those and went to, with our two Airstreams. So let's get into all the pictures and renovations. So this was our first RV. It's a 1997 Fleetwood Discovery Class A 34 foot diesel pusher. We bought it in 2016 and at the time we thought we were pretty excited. The only problem is she broke down on almost every trip we took her on. We did have a Chevy HHR that we pulled behind her, so that was our tow vehicle. And this is what she looked like. She had a lot of flowery stuff. We did replace the flooring. We added some pillows and things like that, but we didn't do a whole lot to this RV because we had five kids at home and just didn't have a lot of extra resources. It had a traditional dinette and two couches, which was really nice. Next, we decided we needed to go smaller and newer because we didn't want to break down all the time, and we bought this Thor Axis. It was adorable, easy to drive because it was almost the same width as a minivan, and we took her a lot of places. We actually got quite a bit of use out of her, and we had her during COVID, so we traveled quite a bit with her, but she ended up just being workmanship and the fiberglass that she was made out of, so we ended up then going with a much bigger, much more powerful vehicle and much more well-built. This beautiful beast is a 1996 Prevo Class A and she is 40 feet long. She was converted by Country Coach and she is also a diesel pusher and we bought her in 2020 and you can see she's got a lot of 80s, 90s decor, kind of bright jewel tone colors and marble flooring throughout. We had a lot of fun just looking at her but knowing that we needed to do a lot of renovations. So this is the before and this is the after. And I think after she looked very classic and beautiful, we did keep some of the original. We took out all the flooring. We took out most of the window treatments and I changed them and made them much more muted. And you can see there, they're gray and purple. So I did keep that purple jewel tone because it is still throughout the vehicle in some stained glass cabinetry and we put backsplashes on and we placed the ceiling, we replaced the flooring, the countertops were perfect, the cabinets were perfect so we didn't mess with them. There are lights and mirrors absolutely everywhere in this RV but she was like driving in a top level hotel so we really enjoyed her but my goodness was she massive so she was a little bit harder for us to drive with. She ended up just being too big for us. So then we sold her and then went into the Airstream realm. Our first Airstream was a 2008 Airstream travel trailer. It was 25 feet and we bought her in 2021. She was pretty rough condition, all original stuff, but it was only 2008, but we really had to gut most of her. She had vinyl floors, nasty carpet, and the furniture was really used and worn. Somebody lived in her for a long period of time and we made her look really pretty. My husband built new twin beds instead of the queen. We replaced the countertops in the kitchen and the bathroom. We replaced the furniture with these lazy boys and we replaced all the flooring. We also got this pull-out jackknife sofa and the kitchen looked ended up really 
really looking pretty. We also added that cabinet in the back room and these countertops as well in the kitchen. It was pretty cozy though, especially with the five dogs. So then you can imagine what happened next. We decided we needed bigger. So we ended up going with a 1999 Airstream Classic travel trailer that was 34 feet. So we gained nine feet from the other one. And this was a triple axle, so a little bit easier to drive when you have those three axles. And we bought her in 2022 after we sold the other one to a nice lady who was going to be using her fairly full time. We were a little concerned because it hadn't been lived in in a very long time. The people had owned her had passed away. So it had a little water damage and things were fairly outdated. We didn't like the color of the cabinetry. And you're gonna see the full tour of this RV in just a moment. You can see the, all the before. So this is the after pictures. And you can see we painted everything. We pulled off all that fuzzy wall covering and we painted her all cream throughout, cleaned the window coverings, just brightened her up quite a bit and we absolutely love her. So we're looking forward to showing you the tour of her coming up next along with some tips and tricks that we use in our RV to maximize our space. But before I start the tour, let's unwinterize her. Hi friends, today we're going to fill up our Airstream and get it ready for all of our fun travels this spring and summer. She just needs to get all of her stuff, all of our stuff <laughs> that we think we need to have to travel. All the stuff that we take out for the winter so that we don't have any rodents or anything like that. So let's get started. This is my wonderful husband, Mike, and he is greasing the wheel bearings. So he had to take the tires off for that, and then he'll put those back on, and he's also taken the antifreeze out of the RV as well that we used. Here is everything we had stored in the basement that needs to be put back into the RV so that we're ready for our next camping adventure. Okay, time for a tour of the Airstream travel trailer that we love. It's 32 feet, it's built in 1999. We absolutely love it. So let me show you some of the things that we've done to the RV in the time that we've had it, which has been just a couple of years. So let me turn around the camera and we will take a look. Okay, so this is the front of the Airstream. It has a Hensley hitch that we love. And we have it parked in our driver right now because when we unwinterize it, I'm sure there's a better term for that, we keep it in the driveway so that we can work on it. So there she is in all of her glory. So I will tell you some of the things we kept the same and some of the things that we changed. First major thing that we did was we changed out the couches. They were original and we wanted something that was a little bit more comfortable. It was a U-shaped couch with a dinette in it. So we took it out and these are motorized lazy boy type chairs that we love. So we each have our own, it has, has power in the cup holders so we can charge our phones and things like that. And it also has a couple cup holders. This also lifts and has some storage. This my daughter got for us, making memories one campsite at a time with our five dogs. And then this couch over here is a pull-out couch. We can move these two chairs back and we can pull that out when we have other guests staying with us, like our grandkids. And then that's just a doggy step. I have one dog bed on the floor because they were in here with me earlier and that's for the big dogs. And then we've got a couple more dog beds that I just store behind the couch. That's an outdoor one that's rolled up back there. And then I also have a basket down there for some of our blankets, which we're, right now one blanket is actually out because it was fairly cold and we were hanging out near the other day. So I kept all of the window treatments because they are expensive to switch out. I did put some greenery around 
just to give it a little bit more fun. In my opinion, it still doesn't have too girly of a feel since my husband and I are both in here. I really enjoy the greenery and I do feel like I need to tack that little part right there up. Otherwise, it stayed really well. I used a staple gun and I stapled them to the... This is like leather material on the ceiling and around and so that's what I stapled the greenery to. We also added this little light. It's nice when we first walk in uh, to put that on when we need it. And then my husband actually built this TV stand. We looked at purchasing them and holy cow, are they expensive. He built this box. We spent about $150 for the mechanism inside that allows the TV to go up and down. And then obviously we bought a TV. <laughs> we use this all the time. So we just put it down when we're traveling and I can show you how it works. So it's got a little remote. You push the down button. And then you just close the lid to the top. My husband is not a woodworking person. And so he was a little bit concerned about it. I think he did a fantastic job. And then I put the little wood things in the center and on the corners just to give it a little bit of a customized look. And so I really appreciate some of these little wood pieces. And I just painted the whole thing. It's kind of a sage green. It looks a little avocado <laughs> in the camera. And it ties in what we did with the cabinets. So the cabinets, we made a two-tone. I just think it brightens up the place if you have the upper cabinets. It's like an off-white color. And we used a Sherwin-Williams paint. They were all wood tone. It was a medium wood tone look. We used primer and then we painted several coats and then we did the same to the bottom cabinets and then we changed out all of the hardware as well. We put in this dark hardware, metal hardware. And then this is the only window treatment that I changed out. It's nice because it lets a lot of light in because it's sheer, but it also ties in the colors that we chose. We have cabinets everywhere. So we have cabinets above and I keep a lot of things in bins. The cups that are not breakable, <laughs> I keep them on their own, but breakable stuff and anything that something might get into, I keep in bins. We've never had a problem in the probably 10 years that we've been RVing, but uh, you never can be too careful with critters. We have some, we have three up here, uh, a lot of dog stuff in these. And then my husband covered that box, which is the, where the wheel well is. And I think he did a fantastic job because we decided we wanted to build a table here. We actually purchased the table instead of building it because we found one really inexpensive on Amazon. We were able to build a bar. It looks really nice. And I have a few things here at the end. When you walk in, little places to put our poop bags for the dogs. And then usually we keep all the leashes in these. And then you can see there's a couple of things we use to keep the chairs from falling. Uh, so we attach those to the chairs. And so that is what keeps the chairs upright. So we love this bar area. We have a third chair. So if we bring grandkids, we can have at least another seat there and plenty of room for us. And plus you could sit on the couch if you wanted to. So we really appreciate that. I put up a couple of pictures here, put up a wreath over here. Some of these things are permanent. So I used tape here on these two so they don't ever come out. I do put away this and I put away that uh, when we're traveling. So I really only have to put away those two things. We've got the pictures that would, they are not going to come out. They're screwed in. And then I do put that vase behind. So this is actually a bread drawer and we leave it up all the time and we put stuff back there while we're traveling. So that's why it's got a little fence thing. <laughs> and uh, 
and then I have a little bit of a vase there. This RV is a little bit different for us because it has a nice pull out garbage can. It has all locking cabinets. And then I also really appreciate this pantry. It's a small pantry, but it's a pantry nonetheless. And it's just got two sets of cabinet in a drawer. And I really like that. So we put all of our canned goods or chips or things like that on those two platforms. This is original Corian countertops. I don't know the exact brand or type of countertop, but it feels like Corian. And then we also installed a paper towel holder. The only thing we haven't changed out that I think we're going to is this faucet. So it's something that we've looked at. This has a stove and a, an oven, and we don't use it very often, but it's here if we need it. We use the stove, but we don't use the oven very often. We have a nice microwave and my husband built this into this cabinet. We lost a little bit of cabinet space, but it doesn't seem to bother us because we use microwaves all the time uh, to heat up the dog food and things along those lines. So he installed this in this cabinet and that doesn't go anywhere. He got that all bracketed in. And then again, we have cabinets up here. I keep pots and pans up here and two more there that I've already showed you. And then we do have two in the back here and we don't really use them. One of them has something related to the RV in it. Nope, empty. <laughs> I thought we had like, oh yeah, it's got an old cassette player and radio system in there. So we really don't use it for anything and I just have a basket, a couple baskets in here. I love these baskets. All well, the dogs are watching me because they are like, she better not be going camping without us. Those are the three Cavaliers. The big dogs are actually in the sunroom for some reason, but anyway, those are them watching me. So let me go on with the tour. We also had to get rid of the refrigerator. We just did that in the fall, and that's because the other one wasn't consistently staying cold. This is a Dometic refrigerator. We did a ton of research and decided on the Dometic. And we're really glad we pulled out the old one because there was a slight smell in here. It just smelled a little bit like an old house. Uh, so it wasn't a smell that we couldn't manage. When we pulled that out, the old coils from the refrigerator, it was causing some of that smell. So we really, really like this freezer and refrigerators at the top. Oops. So remember ice cube trays. It's got a top freezer and then a bottom refrigerator that we really like. And then it has a lock and close, so we don't have to put any sort of locks on that, which is super nice. All right, so let's move on into the bathroom is in the middle of the RV. This is a 32 foot triple axle. So we do get a lot of people coming up to us and saying, oh, that's a triple axle. It's very exciting. <laughs> um, to me, I'm just like, okay. This bathroom has one of these lovely accordion style doors it's not the end of the world don't love it you don't have a ton of privacy you can hear kind of everything you're doing in here but it's fine uh, we don't mind it it's just me and my husband most of the time you always think you're gonna have a million people with you but it's typically just me and my husband and the five dogs so this has a shower we haven't done a lot with the shower other than cleaning the heck out of it we did change out the shower head which is laying down there. We put, I put those metal bins in here. I just keep stuff laying down in there, like the shampoos. And then we also keep that faucet there just in case. I don't think it would fall off, but it goes up there normally. I will say that we also added all the ceiling lights that you see all the way through. Uh, we switched them out I also created this border on this mirror. I don't love it. I will probably switch it out at some point. It was a, a very etched mirror, and so I wanted to do something. We also added the gold towel holders. We painted these cabinets as well. So this is a pull-out mirror cabinet, and it has enough room, and it has a nice bar there. And then we added a towel holder on either side for hand towels, and they do not fall off when we're driving. 
And then I also included some towel holders up here. And you can see the little hair tie that I have on there. And that's just because if I put this hair, if I put a towel on here and I tie the hair tie around it, they don't fall off when we're traveling. So if they're still damp or whatever, it's nice to have that as an option. So just a little tip. And then we don't use the middle one, so I used it for a little bit of fun to look at stuff. We have a couple of drawers down there. Some of you may be wondering where the toilet paper is. And it has a built-in toilet paper holder in the door. Don't know if I love that, but it works. Keeps it out of the way. It's not going to unroll then when we're driving. And we replaced the countertop. It's a Corian countertop that is attached with tape double-sided tape the really really strong stuff never had a problem with that and then i love this little sink it's nice and it's pretty and it's decorative in this little bathroom we also put that backsplash it's just the sticker kind and it's a little bit gold looking it's pretty so it's a little decorative there and then we did also kept the toilet and i did double stick the toilet brush down and then i have a little garbage can that i got off of amazon i will link it in the description below but it's kind of cool because it's got a cover that's not going to come off you pull this and there's your garbage can and you just push it back and it's attached to the wall with just some double stick tape and it's got like a notch where it just notches in so that's nice. Now this bathroom looks a little crazy right now because there's so many mirrors. It has mirrors on the closets. So we have two closet doors with mirrors and then we've got a mirror on this cabinet as well. So let me open up these and these have nice little locks so they're not going to open. We did replace the hardware on these as well and we painted all of these doors. They were all wood colored as well. It was just a little dark. And we painted the inside of the closet and as you can see we are getting ready to get on our way to a campground of some sort soon and i'll keep you updated when that is we had to take a little bit of a break because we had to fix our hot water heater but this is our closet and i just keep things in little bins and i've got plastic bins we usually put our shoes in there and then this is the towels and those are all of the leashes for the dogs I've got a spray mop over there because when we have five dogs in an RV, you're inevitably going to need cleanup at some point. But we have a couple of ceramic heaters that we use if the heat goes out because it's happened once and we're never going to be caught in that situation again. These are beach towels and some other stuff in there, blanket and things like that. So just some outdoorsy stuff. And I love these kind of zippered bins. I also keep a backpack in here so we can bring the dog stuff so when we go on a walk. And there's just just for dirty clothes then we also have this closet well it's not a closet it's more of shelving my husband likes to put all of his clothes on shelves i like to hang my clothes we're just a little different and this rv <laughs> handles both of us and then there's also drawers here so these are long drawers and so everything's locking and we actually have a little cup back there because <laughs> when we were in rise, we put cups full of the little beads, the little scent beads that you put into your laundry. And the mice don't like these, but my husband forgot to take this one out. So we'll take that one out for him. Also, dryer sheets are really helpful. They just don't like that fresh smell, I guess. We also put little cotton balls with peppermint oil. We have not had a critter problem, knock on wood yet this is the bedroom and we did a lot of changes in here this was already twin beds you can see that that cabinet was part of the setup but my husband took everything out and rebuilt the beds he just didn't trust the uh, older wood that was in here so he built these wood platforms and then we bought new mattresses this is just cutesy stuff i'm a target marshals kind of a girl if you're in the united states and so i just decorated in here with that i incorporated some more of that greenery put some pictures in i really like these platforms because i can plug in my phone my phone can sit there at night i don't like my phone to sit in my bed with me and so you can see that my only other option is to put it over here. So I'd have to have an extension cord of some sort that would go around and 
go over to there. I bought those little teeny platforms and I really like them. We each have one. We also put in these little reading lights, which are nice. They have a night light feature as well. Then we have a window in the back here. We have, so we have one, two, three, and then we have a fourth one over here. These are just cabinets. This is what they look like. So tons and tons of storage space in this. We also install this little vacuum. And so we use that. It's a rechargeable. It's charging right now because we're plugged into our garage. We also have dog stairs. The dogs sleep with us. So I put the dog stairs there normally and then they climb up into my bed because all three little ones like to sleep with me. And then the big dogs have a dog bed on the floor that they sleep with. This is attached so that doesn't go anywhere. I don't have to put that away. That is also attached. That doesn't have to go away. So really nothing in this area has to be put away when we travel. We've got two drawers there for glasses or cords or things like that. And then we put this rug in here. And I made these. And when I say made, I am not a sewer. So let me tell you what I did. I actually bought covers for these pillows. So these green pillows, they came in sets of two. So I bought two and then I bought two more and I just undid them and stitch up the one side. I sewed up the one side, actually all four sides. And I make this like a, just a little part for the end of the bed because that's where the dogs usually like to sit. And since we have off white stuff in here, it was a nice choice. And then I'm a big pillow person. My husband doesn't really understand why we need so many pillows, but I think pillows <laughs> are a necessity, of course. I really love the pillows. I love this room because I don't have anything green. Green to me is just a really calm nature feeling color. That's our bedroom. The only other thing that we changed is the flooring. So we put vinyl flooring in here. It's pretty heavy duty. It's the click together kind, but my husband did glue it down. The only problem with gluing it down is when it contracts in the winter and then expands in the summer, you do get some separation. So I'll show you like here, there's a little bit of separation. It bothers my husband a lot more than it bothers me. I think the flooring looks fantastic. It's nice and light. It's a light grayish tan color. So it's that grayish look, which is universal. So we can have browns and grays and get away with pretty much anything. So I hope you enjoyed this tour of our RV. And I apologize that we're not out on the road yet, but my husband fixed the hot water heater because I was not a happy camper the last few times we camped because you'd have hot water for a second and then it would go cold and then you'd have hot water and then it'd go cold. And he said it was some sort of a setting. He's an HVAC guy, so <laughs> he figured it out. And I am so thankful. This is our favorite RV by far. Love it because we never have to worry about the driving aspect of the travel trailer because we just have to have a good truck. And my husband's got a truck that he uses for his business. And so we're able to use that to pull this travel trailer. So when we're traveling in this travel trailer, we have all five dogs with us. And our two big dogs are like traveling with two more adults. And then our three dogs are like traveling with three toddlers, in my opinion. So we needed the space. I love that this has the living room. Then it has this kitchen area. It's got a really nice bathroom, which when you close the two doors, and I didn't show you the bedroom door, this it has an accordion door right here. And then there's this door here is a pull door and it latches on in the bedroom side right here so that it doesn't fly open during travel we close this this door here and then you close this door by the refrigerator and you have all this space in the bathroom so you could have a small party in here some rv bathrooms they're so so tiny and you can barely turn around in them and here you can 
you know, get dressed or whatever you need to do in there. Well, I am really, really happy with this RV. It feels like our final RV, but we've had a lot of them. We do enjoy fixing them up, making them better. My husband would be upset with me because I did forget one important thing that we did, and that is we added two air conditioners. So that's the first air conditioner, and then we have the same one in the bedroom down there. And those air conditioners are fantastic. It's really nice to have two of them, one in the bedroom and one out here. We have also one thing that I love for my animal loving friends out there is our waggle. That's our waggle. It is being charged right now. We have an app and it tells us what the temperature is in the RV. It tells us what the humidity is in here. An alarm goes off and if the power goes off, it tells us. So I just love knowing that when we do leave the dogs, which is very seldom, but say we wanna just go run out for a quick breakfast, we'll leave the dogs in here. We're able to monitor what's going on. So we really like the waggle. There is a monthly fee that you have to pay, but it's well worth it. We can pause that service during the winter when we're not RVing. So I hope you enjoyed this tour. I hope you love our RV as much as we do. I love to see other people's decorating ideas and the things that they've done. We love this RV. I hope you enjoyed watching our tour of our RV that we just love and look forward to showing you some of our adventures this spring and summer. If you would, please click the like button if you found this entertaining and useful. And also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. It's a small channel and it really helps with the algorithm. And also you can click the notification bell and that will tell you every time I create a new video, which is twice weekly. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for hanging out with me today.